All right, we are accessing the s clutch slave cylinder, but I think I need to take this starter off, so I've already disconnected the battery. We've got 19 millimeter bolts holding it in place, but to get the harness off, it's like a 13 up here and like an eight right here. 13. Maybe it's a 10. No, 12? No, it's a 13. All right, good eye. Try not to punch yourself in the jaw. Two hours later. All right, now we can tackle these 19s. If I grab the 19. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, 19 millimeter offset wrench, highly recommended. So now we got access to our slave cylinder. I don't know if you can see that from there. I need to chase it, clean out the threads on this thing because that was fairly unpleasant to remove. Bleeding that really kind of an inconvenient location, if you ask me. Um, these look like maybe 13s. Might bust out a 13 offset. I tell you, the offset wrench is really uh, come in handy. I just want to get these started before I uh, remove the line. All right, so now we are going to remove the line. I might disconnect this uh, harness. Ten mil. Not really necessary to remove, but just give me a little bit more visibility as to what I'm doing in here. Alright, that ended up being like a uh, 12 flared wrench. The uh, clutch line off, so now we'll take the slave out replace it. All right, to get the master cylinder out, we come by the clutch pedal. There's a clip right there that we remove. Okay, so you lift that up and over. Take the washer off. Now we can go into the engine bay and pull this master through. All right, we are now tackling our clutch master cylinder. So we're gonna have to get some of these vacuum lines out of the way. I already drained my fluid because I am replacing brake lines and I did the clutch slave. Um, so no, I'm not driving around with almost no brake fluid. It's just I intentionally drained it and I'm take, tackling a lot of stuff at once. So 10 millimeter on this, uh, valve thing that I don't really know what it does, but I think it might be associated with the EGR, maybe? Or vacuum canister over here? I think this is a vacuum canister, charcoal canister, something with fuel. So we're gonna get this out of here. And we're gonna figure out, these look small. Six mil. look like 12 mil and we've got a flared wrench moment here on the top of the master cylinder twelve millimeter on the flared this flared fitting all right now we're gonna try to sneak in and get these 12s off Maybe it's a 13.
that's out. We're gonna need him. All right, we wanna figure out, we wanna try to get our clutch adjusted to a similar spot. Got it roughly in the right spot. All right, now we just slap her back in. Re replace this hose probably. All right, so the clutch master is back in with a fresh silicon hose. Um, I'll have to get what size that is afterwards. We also ran a fresh uh, line off the master that connects to the slave cylinder, if you can see that. It's a hard line up top that transitions to a soft line. And that line connects right there to this hard line that runs to the slave. Master reconnected.